Alright guys, good afternoon and welcome to Ocean Roadies. Today we're not at the ocean, but we're on the road that leads to a pyramid. So no, we're not at Egypt yet. <laughs> I'd love to go there. Uh, we're right here in the Netherlands. And I guess you didn't know that they have pyramids in the Netherlands. Well, they have one. We're gonna check it out right now. It's called the Pyramid of Austerlich. It's located in the middle of Netherlands, close to Amersfoort. In the center of Netherlands, it's nice weather and autumn holiday in Holland. Thank you, Marino. <laughs> Let's go all the way to the top and see what the view is like from there. Let's go. Standing here at the base of the Pyramid of Austerlich. <laughs> it's really incredible to have a pyramid right here in the Netherlands. It wasn't built by the Egyptians, but it was built by the French. So, <laughs> back in the early days, the Netherlands was ruled by Napoleon. And Napoleon had a general stationed right here called General Marmont. He had a battalion here, lots of soldiers who were trained and ready to fight off any new British invasions that might come up. General Marmont was here. And in order to commemorate the victories of Napoleon and to fight against boredom, he ordered his soldiers to build this pyramid out of peat stone. The pyramid was built in 1804 and Marmont himself had already witnessed the Egyptian pyramids when he joined Napoleon on his expedition to Egypt. So inspired by the pyramids of Giza being stationed here in the Netherlands, he ordered his generals to build this wonder and it still stands to this day even though it needed quite a bit of renovations so let's see what it's like at the top let's climb this mountain all right here we go let's climb to the top Woo! lots of stairs <laughs> okay maybe not that many stairs you know we climbed a few mountains before this little pyramid but still you know the Netherlands is one of the most flat countries ever. Any type of thing that goes up, that's already nice. Oh, what a journey. Marino, how much longer? Five kilometers. No, I think we're already halfway. Oh, too bad. I think we're gonna make this one. Let's do it. There must be a good you like a drum. Do do do. Let's go! Marina, we made it! Do you have some more paper? Do you have some more paper, Nota? No. But I am for sure nuts. <laughs> for sure. Standing here on the top of the pyramid, the view is quite nice indeed. Like I said, yeah, we're not used to very high peaks here in the Netherlands, so uh, yeah, we'll take it. It was actually called the Marmont Mountain, or as we say in Dutch, the Marmontberg. But later, by King Louis, the brother of Napoleon, the name of the building was changed to Austerlich to commemorate the Battle of Austerlich, which Napoleon had won in the Czech Republic. So this obelisk you see right behind me used to be made from wood. It's already four years after construction they had to remove it because it was dangerous and it has been replaced by this stone obelisk but it's still standing strong here to this day. Uh, Marino, did you enjoy this uh, visit to the pyramid? Oh, we are so enlightened. <laughs> it was quite a trip, wasn't it? Maybe next time we uh, try to visit the pyramids of Giza in Egypt. Yeah, but don't forget the pyramids of Mexico. 
Oh yeah, that was quite a nice trip as well. So, awesome guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this adventure. If you did, please give a thumbs up, subscribe for more adventures, and I will see you on the road. Cheers! <laughs>